After the Holocaust, the Rabbah the Rebbe lost everything, and he opened up shop in the west side. In the upper west side, he opened up a shul, but he didn't have minion. So can you imagine the Haile Gebab of the Rebbe, Reb Shleimula? And he had four, five, six guys, seven, and he would go outside on the street and try to find a Jew and tell them, come inside. One time he went outside and he sees this guy walking. He says, are you Jewish? We need you for a minion. The guy says, Rabbi, get out of here. He starts cursing the rabbi. Shlema realized, obviously, this was a Holocaust survivor, probably lost his whole family, Nebuch, Nebuch, but he was so charming, of Shlema. And he chased him down, and he went over to him, and he got him to come, and he said, please, we need you to be part of the minion, please, and he got the guy to come in. So this guy started to come davening in the shul, and Shlema realized that he has a nice voice. He went over to him, and the guy said, yes, before the war, I used to be about Tfila, so he gave him the Amud. And this guy would be the Shliach Tzibur, and he would daven at the Amud for Rav Shlema's minion. After a couple of months, one day, Shabbos afternoon, a few of the guys who were the Frumis, the regular core Frum guys, went for a walk. They went to the park, and they saw this guy. Their guy who was part of the minion. They're about Tfila. They saw him smoking a cigarette on Shabbos. They went running over to Rav Shlema, and they said, He's smoking on Shabbos. We can't count him as part of the minion. And not only that, he certainly can't be our Batvila, our Shliach Tzibur. We, we got to get rid of him. And Shleimah told him something very interesting. He said, he's not smoking. The Nazi inside of him is smoking. The Nazis, of what they did to him, they're the reason he's smoking. It's not him. And it was a Psak Halacha and Hayral Levdeirais that he let him be part of the minion. That he let him daven for the Amr to represent that Tfilas, the Shliach Tzibur to Hashem, even though he's Mechal Shabbos. Why? He's not smoking. It's his pain. It's his trauma that caused him to be this way. Don't hold it against him. Every nice Chassidish story has to have a nice ending. About 50 years later, Shlem was very old. He wasn't able to go to weddings anymore. But he would go to Sheva Brachas, stop in at a Sheva Brachas. And when he was very old, he was going through a certain Sheva Brachas, and he told the Gabbai, call Mr. This and this and this and this, four of the old guys in shul, go find them, tell them I want them to come with me. He's Chassidim, old Chassidim. The rabbi wants me to go with you to Sheva Brachas. Why? We don't ask questions. Precious kashas of rabbis. So they went with the Rebbe to the Sheva Brachas, and they went into this beautiful Sheva Brachas with dozens and dozens of Hasidish people, and the parents were there, and the grandparents, and this is old, old Yid over there, the great-grandfather. And the Rebbe told these old guys, he says, you know who that is? He couldn't figure it out. He said, that's that guy that you wanted to throw out of shul for smoking on Shabbos. If I would have listened to you, we would have lost all of this. He's not smoking. The Nazis are smoking.